see the devil has sent his demons to make a baby with my dad so he can walk the earth. I thought I got all the demons, but it turns out there's another. This demon was disguised as a police lady, but she didn't look like a police lady to me. She was always with my dad, but never around my house. I think she took into places to do their grown-up stuff. Late one night, the police lady was downstairs in the TV room arguing with my dad. They were talking about some kind of test and said something about it being positive. I'm not really sure what they were talking about. The angel told me I didn't have much time and I had to kill that demon tonight. The angel told me if I didn't, the angel would be forced to kill everyone. So I got my knife, but I was so tired from avoiding ghosts, I didn't think I could do it. So the angel gave me the power to heal myself. I can't use it often, but when I do, I feel a lot better. I snuck outside without my dad knowing and waited for the demon in the backseat of its car. The angel told me to be careful of this one because it had powerful weapons. I just wanted these demons to go away forever. I was tired. I wanted to sleep. Why wouldn't they just leave me alone? Leave my fucking dad alone already. <sighs> Don't worry, it has a happy ending. I promise. Right before I killed the demon, I told it the devil will never win and that they should just give up. I remember the demon looking shocked. And that's how I got my demon blood to get rid of the ghosts. Just after I finished collecting the blood from the demon, my noisy neighbor banged on the car window and then started to scream. My dad came running out and a bunch of other people too. Then some news people came and the police grabbed me and took me away from my dad. I don't know what all the fuss was about. She wasn't a woman, she was a demon. Why couldn't the police see that? Seven-year-old Emily Ritter was taken into custody today after allegedly killing police officer Lisa Neely in the back of her car with a kitchen knife. Then I had to see a judge and a bunch of people in their suits. Today, Emily Ritter goes on trial for the brutal killing of three women. The first victim was Mary Minor, who was in a relationship with Emily's father. The second victim was Karen O'Dell, Emily Ritter's school teacher and close friend. The last victim, Lisa Neely, was a police officer investigating the murders of Mary Minor and Karen O'Dell. She became romantically involved with Carl Ritter during her investigation and was pregnant at the time of her death. Emily was found covered in blood and holding the murder weapon in the back seat of Lisa's car. Lisa's body was in the front seat of her car. Police reports state that all three victims were stabbed repeatedly with a kitchen knife. I had to go to courtroom over and over. It was really boring. After one of the longest and most expensive trials the city of Franklin has ever seen, eight-year-old Emily Ritter was found guilty of three counts of first-degree murder. She is being taken to the secure unit in Franklin's psychiatric hospital for a full evaluation. They took away my knife, but I drank the demon blood from the body of the police lady, so they couldn't take that away from me. Now they keep me trapped here in this white room. It's boring because I don't get to see anyone. They don't even let me play outside. Thankfully, the angel came to see me. She told me that I'd be getting out soon. I'm sorry to say I don't think you'll be leaving anytime soon. Yep, I will be, the angel said. Once I kill the last demon, she'll lift me out of these walls and take me to a safe place. Who's the last demon? You. What are you talking about? You said the demons were all women. No, I said all the demons were disguised as women, except for their master. Their master is disguised as a man. The angel calls this one Asmodeus. When I killed Asmodeus's minions, the angel told me it would come from me instead of my dad because it was mad at me. That's why you're here. Are you mad, doctor? That needle behind your back isn't a sedative. It's poison. I know because the angel told me. I'll have no problem killing you, though. You sent the guards away so you wouldn't get caught. But now, there's no one to help you. It's just you and me. My dear Emily, you're so young, so innocent, so pathetic. It's sad, really, this delusion you're living in. Well, that's right, Emily. 
You're living in a delusion and it's hijacking your life. You see, the truth is, you were never going to win. After I kill you, the devil will walk the earth once more. Oh, and I'm sorry about your mom. It's nothing personal, but for obvious reasons, I had to get rid of her. to enjoy watching you die. This is for ruining my dad's life. And this is for ruining my life. And this is for my mom. It's over. Mom, I'm sorry I wasn't able to save you. But dad is okay. Emily, your father is here to see you. And he has a surprise for you. You're going to be a big sister. Oh my god. I need a doctor. Someone get a doctor in here now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. You'll be okay. Uh, you'll be okay. He's, he's not breathing. He's not breathing. Security, somebody help. I guess I have more work to do after all. Late and drunk, you stumble in with my father ready to sin. You touch my dad to seduce, tightening your grip like a noose. But the angel said you would come to replace my beautiful mom. I'll be watching you night and day. I hope for your sake you learn to pray. For if you try to fuck my dad, I'll make you wish you never had. My name's Dr. Winters, and I'll be performing a psychiatric evaluation on Emily. She clearly has some kind of severe neurological disorder, perhaps stemming from her mother's death. I've worked with many patients with mental disorders, but I've never had a case so severe and with someone so young. Her lack of guilt and remorse is definitely characteristic of a psychopath, but she really doesn't exhibit any other psychotic behavior. The brutality of her crimes has fueled a media frenzy, which I believe could have a negative effect on her ego. A sweet little girl is hiding behind those glossy eyes. I'm going to show the world that she's not the demon the media has made her out to be. There's only one thing I know to be certain. Emily will go down in history as the world's youngest serial killer. I quit my job at Franklin Psychiatric Hospital a week after it happened. Nothing can prepare you for something like that. You have no idea what it was like. The blood was everywhere. The, the floor, the wall, the ceiling. And her smile. She just sat there with a smile on her face. The whole time, just sitting there, smiling. You don't know what it was like to witness something like that. She was... drinking the blood. Are you guys planning on interviewing her? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go near her if I were you. She's the devil. No, no, I'm serious. She's the fucking devil. You don't believe me, do you? You will. Soon enough. You will. You will.